I've brought a couple friends here today uh, to come in and talk about some of their favorite justices. Please come in. So who's your favorite Supreme Court justice? The Dozo. Who is the Dozo? Benjamin Cardozo, straight out of NYC. Best Supreme Court justice ever. And why do you like him? Because Dozo knew that justice isn't to be taken by storm, that she's a lady to be wooed by slow advances. You know when you have a case and it goes all the way up to the Supreme Court and you hear one person talk and then another person talks and the entire time a justice is sitting there listening and, and afterwards they write their opinion. And, and they think they're right because they went to some prestigious law school or they, they've been on the Supreme Court for however many years. But they could be wrong. And my favorite, he knows they're wrong. He writes the most dissents of any Supreme Court justice. Which one is that? Justice Antonin Gregory Scalia. <laughs> right too. My favorite all-time justice, and even though it's a little cliche, is of course the preeminent John Marshall, made famous for his case of Marbury versus Madison where he established judicial review. John Marshall, despite his grace and his legal mind, needs to be highlighted in the context of his arch nemesis, Darth Tawny. Roger Tawny. I have a favorite as well, uh, Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. I tend to collect things uh, from him. I, I have a magazine from 1931 with where he was on the cover. His book, The Common Law, a two feet by three feet poster of him. He's the best. And, and I want to make it clear that I liked Benjamin Cardozo before it was cool to like Benjamin Cardozo, like before Herbert Hoover thought it would be cool for him to be on the Supreme Court, because his work on the New York Court of Appeals is so much better than what he did with the Supreme Court. He just went mainstream. Roger Tawney, which not a lot of people know about, came after John Marshall, where he single-handedly tried to underdo, undo everything that John Marshall tried to accomplish. Not to mention, in Dred Scott, in his Dred Scott decision, it was his opinion that slavery was a constitutional right of property protected by the Fifth Amendment. Not to mention, he also argued that African Americans were not citizens. Who is your favorite Supreme Court Justice? Oh, that's an easy one. My favorite Supreme Court Justice is Sandy. Who's Sandy? Oh, Sandra Day O'Connor. Um, we study together, we eat lunch together, and, um, well, she helps me mediate a lot. We. Uh... She doesn't know Sandra Day O'Connor. She has a picture of Sandra Day O'Connor that she carries around in her backpack. She is so fun and just so pretty, and I just really like her. This guy single-handedly set our country back 100 years. What you're saying is you don't like uh, Justice Tawney. Are you kidding me? What is there to like about the guy? He's deplorable. He's unconscionable. His decisions make no rational sense. He's Look at his face. Would you trust anything that this guy writes on paper? I don't think so. I can't stand him. I don't know how Justice Marshall did. I would leave. I'm going to leave now.